Welcome to a new video and today in this video I will be showing you how you can host your any website made in react either it is made in Next.js or angular or Vue. how you can host that website means UI website in Vercel very easily all the steps I will show I will show you how to host in Next.js but in other projects also the criteria will be exactly same whatever I am doing only the installation process is a bit different okay so go to that place where your project is I will be creating a new project so I will open my terminal and in there I will be typing npx create next app and after that i will be writing the app name whatever the app name i need i will be creating next host a simple app name i have given you can give any name according to your choice if you are hosting like react or angular the process of deploying is same okay so don't follow the installation you can continue from the github step okay so it is asking me would you like to use typescript i don't need to use that eslint no css uh, tailwind no sr See yes, app router yes, customize default alias no needed. So then it will install. It will take some time to install. I have to wait. Once installation is completed, what you can do to run? First of all, you need to go inside that project. Then you need to write npm run dev to run that project and see locally in your system how that looks. Okay. So let me control and click on this link to open it. It's opened in my Chrome. You can see it looks something like this. But we will edit this one so that you can know like we have hosted this website. So for that, what I'll do, I will go to that folder, that next host folder inside that SRC app, right click on this page and then open with and visual studio code. Then you can see the code looks something like this, but I will modify a little bit like here you can see instead of this, I'll write subscribe to and here I will write web coder. I said, then I'll save it and after that I'll show you the changes then I'll refresh and you can see the changes is applied right now it is showing subscribe to web code and said, you should subscribe for this kind of interesting videos so then what you need to do you need to go to google and then search github.com okay if you have already signed in then it is great if not just sign in the sign in step is very easy just you need to give the email address and uh, email address password and you need to verify the captcha that's it the sign up process in github i'm assuming that you have already signed up in github and once your sign up is done then a new button will be visible here you need to click here then you need to give a repository name so repository name i will give next host and after that i will keep it as public or private that depends on you i'll keep it as public then i'll click on create repository okay once the repository is created then you can copy this line get remote add origin this line you need to copy and then go to your terminal where you are running your project next project okay then you can, can click on Control c to stop the running of this next process and then what you need to do you need to write git in it then the thing which you have copied you can paste it by right clicking here and you can easily paste it okay you can paste it then once it is pasted then what you can do you need to write git then what you can do you need to write git add dot then you need to write git commit minus m then whatever your commit message is there you need to write i will write initial commit that it is the first commit then i'll push all my code to github origin master okay so once it is uh, pushed to github you can refresh and check whether it, once this pushing of all the code to github is done then you need to open version okay so i'll open version and on that what i'll do i'll click on this add new button and then click on the project then from here i will sign up in Vercel. one thing you need to note that whatever github account you have created on that github account you need to verify and log in using Vercel. okay that same github account should be there so you can directly see the next host whatever i have created here the repository that repository is showing here or visible here so i can click on the import and nothing you need to change it will automatically it will verify like whatever the steps need required it will verify if you are not integrating it with any other projects okay so it will automatically build you just need to click on deploy but see if you are manipulating or changing package.json according to your needs then you need to write the installation steps accordingly this is the most important thing which you need to understand and if any error is coming at the time of deployment in the log it will be visible here only so what you need to do is just go to stack overflow or co completely copy that error and just search in the google you will get a lot of links on that if not possible then you can come to the comment section and comment it there i will be surely replying you okay so let's see we have to wait for the deployment process as you can see the deployment process is done now once the deployment is done it will show you this kind of uh, interface you need to click on continue to dashboard so 
once you clicked on the continue to dashboard then you can see here a link will be there where here you can see the next host this link you can click on that and your website will be visible here you can see our live hosted website is here which is showing subscribe to webcoder abhishek so if this video is interesting then please like the video share with your friends and subscribe the channel for this kind of interesting videos that's all for today guys thank you for watching